hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm very excited to have you here today we're going to be talking about a brand new platform that i discovered and i think it's very interesting and perfect for anybody that is looking to build funnels on wordpress now normally i'm not a fan of building funnels on wordpress because by the time you think of your hosting and you think of speed and optimization it is usually just better to pay for a funnel platform and use that instead but i discovered this platform and being a huge skeptic i said you know what i'm going to try it out for myself and then figure out what it is and then if it is worth it i would recommend it and if you're watching this video then it means i actually liked it and that's why we're here right now all right so let's talk about studio cut i actually got this off um, um Absumo, but the lifetime deal on Absumo is gone but on their website <coughs> But on their website, you can still get the annual license, expert license, agency license, and they offer um, lifetime deals currently, which are quite generous. If you're not sure if you want to use it, then you can check out the personal site license for one year. And then if you really like it, you can upgrade as much as you'd like. But I want to show you what it looks like and how to install it into your site. So I have created a brand new wordpress install there's nothing inside here we're going to get started so the first thing i want to do is i'm already logged in so i'm going to download right so i'm going to download the plugin right i'm going to copy click on save click on done uh, all right i've downloaded the file so all you have to do if you have a wordpress site if you have an existing wordpress site or if you have a wordpress site that you want to use just for funnels whatever the case may be install your wordpress whatever as usual and then you get started so i'm going to go to plugins click on add new upload plugin and then i'm going to drag this like this and install so this should take a few seconds to install then i'm going to activate the plugin and it's going to ask for my license key i'm going to paste and then agree and activate awesome so i have activated my studio cut so this is what it looks like another reason why i actually like this platform is that it's clean it's really really clean and like I don't know i just it's simple and i'll show you why in addition to the funnel plugin it comes with a few templates inside of wordpress and i'm going to show you what they look like also this allows you to use your favorite um wordpress site builder like elementor or dv whatever you use and you can use it to build your pages so the first next thing i'm going to do is to install elementor so i'm going to go to the same thing add in we're going to search Elementor here and I'm going to click on install. I also like the classic editor, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to get my Elementor. Let me see if I have. Right, I still have my Elementor Pro zip file. So. I'm just going to install that at once so i'm activating elementor and i'll activate the classic editor at once so everything is activated i just need to connect my elementor pro to my account activate this if you don't know what elementor is it's a page builder for wordpress highly recommend it's what i use on all of my sites if you don't have it i can i'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out so i've activated everything let's go back to studio cut now so this is what the options that you have look like so we have products order subscription upsell categories tags settings a few templates reports accounts contact us and pricing so the pricing here allows you to maybe upgrade if you have a free plan this will allow you upgrade straight inside of your account so the first thing you need to know is that you have to create a product 
all right so the first thing we're going to do is to create a product right you click on add product and um let's just call our product test well let's call it the llc formula which is my course that allows you to register your llc online so the llc formula great so this is how it looks like and underneath the yoast seo which i'm just going to hide here you see that you have all of the settings that you need to do so you see general if you want to use it the product name you put above just leave empty here you can change the header background color image you can decide if you want to hide the page title what's the primary color on the page is going to be on page access which i like this is you can limit the product sales so let's say you're having a special and you want to sell maybe only 20 of those products you can easily do this right um, in this case we're not going to do that but um, it's an option that is available to you then payment plan so this part got me a bit confused the first time i saw it but basically any pricing plan that you have be the one-time payment uh recurring subscription whatever you create one here so you just click on add new and give it an id so let's say one pay that's what we're going to call it so it's a one-time payment of 97 dollars right and you, this part is like an, a description so you can say one payment of 97 dollars and then you put the price here and make sure everything is together and then you can just close this if you have multiple pricing points for the same product you can add more pricing points here so let's say we have um two pay let's call this two sorry two pay and then this will be a recurring payment right so this is two payments of 47 dollars for instance and um then we'll say the price is 47 there's no sign up fee and the interval is monthly um number of payments we'll just do two payments like we have two payments right and there's no trial so if you want to do a free trial this is where you put in the information and then now we have different payment plans for the same product and then once you're done with that you need to do your payment option so we have cash on delivery we have stripe and paypal i'm just going to turn on cash on delivery because we're not selling a physical product so that does not really apply to me the form fields that you want um you can decide what your order uh, your submit button is going to say in this case it says order now i'm just going to change mine to complete your order and then it's going to ask them for first name last name email phone number i don't want this two steps so i'm just going to leave it like this go to the next step if you have coupons this is where you put it so let me add a coupon just for demonstration purposes and let's say the coupon is um 300 and the percentage of you can choose between percentage and fixed amount and the percentage let's say is 50 percent off and um you can have have a limit how long it to be excuse me valid for when it will expire all of these things and then you can just close this then um the order bump now as as something that is a staple part of funnels you need other bumps you need upsells which is why this is really cool so we're going to put order bump yes we want an order bump um you have to create an order bump product we haven't created any other product beside the one we're creating now so there's no product to select here we're going to do that shortly um what should the label say i'll say please add this to my order the headline will be get the let's say micro funnels workshop for only Thirty-seven dollars. Um, my free masterclass on creating the first funnel from scratch in one weekend. Right. So the price is thirty-seven dollars, and all of this is going to be for the order bomb. When we create the order bomb product, we'll come back here and add this. Then, if you want to do an upsell, or a first upsell, a second upsell, yes, one upsell. We don't have our upsell product set up yet, but we can put in some of the details. The dis dif um, display type, I'm just going to select um, upsell offer page. And in this case, you're supposed to select a page where your upsell offer is going to be. You can also select the default, and then it will use like a default page. You can preview what that looks like here. So, this is what it will look like on the default upsell right so you see there's basically nothing there 
<laughs> right so um we're going to use an upsell offer page i'm going to show you what all of that means and then we don't have a second upsell but we have an order confirmation you can either choose to display a message or use a page or you can even do an entire redirect right so i'm just going to use a display page and then you get to select the page let's just use this contact right notifications if you want to add notifications that you get an email each time somebody purchases you can do this which is really handy a lot of my clients ask for the opportunity to be able to get notifications when somebody purchases something from their site this is really good if you offer services or anything like that so i'm going to say admin email um you can fill in all of these details i'm just going to remove this notification for now i don't need it integrations um there are lots of integrations you can um i'm going to show you where the integrations are on the back end and then tracking so if you want to put any of the tracking codes for maybe facebook ads or google this is where you put all of it and then once you're done you just make sure to click on update and then all of this updates so right now this is what it will look like right so it is not designed nothing is set up yet and you see it already looks pretty good right this is what it looks like this is the checkbox to add this to your order and everything looks really cool so it's inheriting the design from the theme that i have and i think that theme currently is maybe the 2021 theme or something like that so um before i proceed we're just going to make a few more products so that we can have something to add as an upsell and have something to add as an order bump an order bump can be a normal product you don't need it to be any special product so just put the name there um put the price let's call this um one one time payment of 37 dollars and then we can click on publish right so this is going to be our order bump product which is created but when you want to create an upsell offer you have to go under upsell offers to create your upsells so i'm going to create new upsell offer i'm just going to call the ceo finance mastery and then we're going to put in our details for this particular product so let's click on publish awesome it's published and all right so what we want to do now is let's go into settings and do a bit of settings so first off i want to change my theme and make a few adjustments so that the everything works a bit more smoothly so just give me a few seconds to do that okay now we're back to studio cut so let's go back to the upsell offers and click on edit for this one and see um all right so under settings right let's go under settings you see that you can set your default currency your country where your position will be number of decimals this is my api key yada 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 and um you can disable the product template there are also payment integration so i can enable stripe you can put in your test and live keys so you can choose live test whatever whatever you choose here will determine how your checkout will behave so i'm going to leave this in test mode and then you can also enable pay paypal all right and then you can also have a lot of integrations this is one of the reasons why i absolutely love this so we have active campaign convert kit mailchimp uh, member vault kajabi we have sendfox you can add facebook ad events and then we have drip so you just have to click on save settings here and all of this is good to go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, add my stripe test api keys so that we can be able to properly test the checkout page and you can see what the process is like so give me one second to do that All right, so I have my Stripe test keys put in and I'm going to leave this in test mode so that we can use test mode for Stripe. 
then the next thing i want to show you that they have which i think is really cool is the um template so um i made a mistake here so let's go back all right so let's go over to the template so they do have templates that come like with the platform so as you see here we have these are checkout templates that you can use for your product i'm just going to download this one right here we're going to call it a basic it's a basic checkout that's a checkout page that we can use they also have um sales page templates that you can use for your um site as well like for your sales page so example this is a sales page template and this is an upsell um, template so i'm just going to download um this and this so that you can see an example of what they look like so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go over to pages to create your pages so you're going to need a sales page an order form and an upsell page so let's click on add new we're going to call this sales page right i like to publish first and then we're going to edit with elementor so once we do that we'll be able to import the um the page um design that we have so i will click on that and then all right so let me click on this right here and i can come to my template i don't have any templates you see import and then i'm going to select the sales page template drag and drop and then it will be able to import it into my wordpress account the template has been imported into our account so i can insert this is what it looks like i'm just going to go over to the settings here and change this to an elemental canvas and hide the title so that all of those at the top will go and this is what the page will look like so this is a very nice sales page that you can use and then all you have to do is link this to your order form page okay so this is what the sales page looks like i'm going to click on update then we'll go back to the dashboard and set up an order form So I'm going to click on add new, call this order form and click on publish. Then we'll edit with Elementor again. Right. We're just going to repeat the same thing we did. I'm going to import this one time. The next time I need to use this page, all I have to do is come here to insert. I don't need to import it all over again. And then I will have to go to settings, use Elementor canvas to hide the header and footer. And then I have a whole checkout page. Now here's the cool thing. Once you come here, right? Um, you see that there, there's a, there's a, what's it called? There's a short code that is already, um, there for you to use, to get your product to show here. There's also a, a post type like this that you can use. And this one, why it's cool is that if you select it, you can select the product that you want specifically and it will load that product for you so i'm just going to delete this one here and you see everything is here that's the price the price point that i have all the information that i want to collect and then you can design the page however you want so this is what the page looks like you can use your elementor builder to edit all of this text right like this change the colors do whatever you want with it i'm just going to hit publish and then we can preview the changes right so this is what it looks like you can select the price point that you want you start filling out your details and then this is test mode so we're going to use um this you can put in your card details so let's say right and then you can add an order bump if you want so see this is added and this is the entire order if i change this to 97 and then this order increases to 134 and then i can complete my order very simply 
I don't have a sales page or an up upsell page created yet, but you see that it works pretty good. Now, um, I'm going to exit from here, right? So we have our order form page. And then the next thing that we want to do is we'll add a new page and call it the upsell page, right? Click on publish again. So you can name these pages, whatever you want. You can edit these URLs to be whatever you want. I'm just running through it because I, I want to show you what this platform is capable of doing. So we're going to import the upsell page template and I'm going to show you how to kind of link all of them together so that it actually flows like a proper sales funnel. So um, this is the upsell template. I'm going to click on insert. Once that's done, we know the details right here and then i'm going to click on update right so we have all of this as our upsell page and then we're going to go back to the dashboard now this is how you connect it so you go back to studio cart we have all our products right um we're going to click on edit so we're editing the main product now when you scroll back down we have um we have payment methods then form fields and all of these things coupons order bump so now we can select the product we want for our order bump right here so that it knows exactly what it's doing and then we have the first upsell so the upsell we can um select the product from the upsell page so it seems like our upsell product was not properly created so let's let's do that right now ah my bad okay i remember now so the product that you want for your um upsell you need to create it as a product right and you're going to have a price let's go here right so we're going to click on um sorry we have that right and we're going to publish it then you go back into your product that you want to do so we have um let me trash this so we have the llc formula here and i'm creating a funnel for it so we have the order bomb created we know this is the order bomb for the upsell you have to create a product so i have the product now and then the offer the upsell offer is right here any of them is, is going to do and then you see that we have the yes link and the no link so all you need to do is to go to where your pages are so let's go to my pages and then we're going to edit the upsell page right what you need to do is come here and collect the link for the yes yes i want this offer added to my order and you see this is the yes link and then you put this link here you find all the yes links and you do the same thing right those are the yes links and then you grab the no links and then you do the same exact thing but rather here sorry i mistakenly clicked on the link sorry i have to start all over again okay so let's edit this with elementor right so i have the no link copied right now so we're going to select this no thanks and then we'll paste this we we'll scroll down find the next no link we'll click on edit we're going to paste this then we're going to get the button for the yes link this one we come here we get the yes link and we're going to add it right here we're going to do the same right here and now we can update this page the next thing that we want to do is the upsell offer page right the upsell offer page is going to be ceo finance mastery and then we click on update so inside of the upsell offers you want to um you want to edit this with elementor so this is where 
this is where you actually build your upsell offers so my bad not inside of your post but rather inside here so we're going to select the upsell template we import it into this particular page right so this is what it will look like and rather than have it on that page we're just going to do this and instead of here we'll just have the no link no link all right so we're going to click on update with that we're basically done so if you go to the upsell page this is what it looks like yep this is what it looks like only 97 dollars right now the funnel is basically set up so you can build a funnel off of one product and just add i think up to two upsells and that's basically it actually won't recommend going any higher but um that's completely up to you okay now that we have that let us test the entire funnel so that you can see what it looks like so the first thing we want to do is to grab the product link so the product that we're selling is this one so we come to pages we get the order form link so this is the order form so i'm going to copy the link address on the sales page you want to edit with elementor in such a way that the buttons will lead you to the order form page so we come here right so this is the link and then we're going to paste this and we have another link here and we're going to paste this and that's for both links so now that we have that we can test the whole funnel right now so somebody lands on your sales page this is your sales page yada 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 they click i want to get it now it takes them to the um, order form page which you've created and then they put in their details and then they collect the the this is test mode so i get the test credit card i put in the number i put in the month and the whatever right and i have that let's say i want the order bomb so my total comes to 134 dollars i'm going to click on complete my order it will process and then it will take me to the upsell page you say you see it just takes me there straight it says do not close this page your order is not yet complete yada 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 i say yes please add this to my order it processes it and then it takes me to the thank you page i did set the contact page as my thank you page so it takes me to the thank you page now when you come back inside of wordpress this is what you see if you go to studio cart and you go to your orders you see all the orders that you have so we have this order the first one i tested before i finished setting up the whole funnel and then we have this order and then we have the upsell order and everything is inside here you can just see your orders now one of the things that i had issues with with other like platforms that try to do with wordpress was i didn't really like the analytics but this one actually has cool analytics so if you go to report you can see your total sales net sales refunds revenue per customer sales by products by or gateway everything everything you can basically track how much you're making what it looks like and i think it looks really really neat now um the only thing um for analytics that may be lacking currently is like to see how many people are hitting your sales page and how many people are hitting your um upsell page how many people are leaving your conversion rates and all of that and it can easily be fixed by using google tag um google tag manager inside of your wordpress pages and then you have to see you'll be able to see everything inside of one place you see your conversions and you can use that to also add your facebook ads tracking id everything in one place and if you're looking to build a funnel and save money so i personally use like i have because i run a tech channel and i do a lot of things with my software i have click funnels i have katra i have kajabi i have fun gorgeous funnels and i'm always looking for the next best thing and this really blew, blew my mind like it's so simple it's so clean i love the page designs and i was i'm actually convinced that i'm going to be moving 
I'm going to be moving like my funnels over to WordPress because I really, really, really like this. And this is coming from somebody who has tried all of all the platforms and I also have Trifecat. So I'm thinking this would be really great for me to run funnels. I can have my funnels on WordPress. I can make it look however I want. I can have the checkout. I can have like a store page and things like that. And then if I want to do any of my affiliate marketing, like if I want to do JV partnerships or an affiliate partnership, I can then like do that through Trifecat because Trifecat has an amazing affiliate program. But this I think is amazing. So the platform is Studio Cat. I'm going to leave a link in the description for you guys to go check it out. I think it's absolutely amazing. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. <laughs> I really, really, really like it. And I think you guys should check it out um if you're looking to build funnels affordably if you don't want to pay like month to month so it, you you can get one site for 149 dollars and compared to 97 dollars per month i would say it's a steal if you already have a wordpress site you can just put this in and just start building funnels start selling your products the only issues will be maybe if you don't have stripe or paypal and if you're a non-us resident you're looking to get stripe i have a solution for that you can check out my course the llc formula you can go check it out it will help teach you how to get your own us llc which will help you get access to stripe and a us bank account so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you loved it leave a like subscribe comment ask any questions you have about studio cat one of the reasons why i really like this is that they are continuously adding like new features new upgrades integration they also have a facebook group and it's owned by a lady and she's doing an amazing amazing job and i love supporting people who design amazing software that like the ease of use is so high up i tried cat flows i actually bought cat flows a year or two ago and i gave up completely on using wordpress for building funnels but this actually just restored my faith in wordpress funnels so yeah um tell me what you like about it tell me your questions tell me everything that's on your mind and i'll do my best to answer it and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video so take care bye don't forget to subscribe <laughs>